Hi, my name is Stefanos Laskoridis and I will present you our joint work with my colleagues at Samsung AI Center in Cambridge, UK on Synergistic Progressive Inference. This is an outline of the topics that I'm going to visit in the presentation, starting from an overview of background work and where SPIN fits. Then, I'm going to describe our framework's architecture and then I'm going to present the results of our evaluation, followed by a short discussion and conclusions. Up until now, the ML inference computation landscape has looked like this. On the one side of the spectrum, there is full on-device inference, where all nodes of a DNN are deployed and computed on the user's device. However, as the most accurate state-of-the-art DNNs are getting deeper and wider, it is difficult to consistently support real-time inference of such models across a heterogeneous set of resource-constrained devices, despite most recent advances in hardware design being incorporated mainly in flux devices. On the other end, there is full offloading, where the device is sending its data to a more powerful remote endpoint, be it on the cloud or edge, where the inference is happening, and the result is returned back to the user. Apart from the obvious privacy concerns of uploading user data to a remote end, this solution comes with a significant cloud cooperation cost. Last, in an attempt to combine the best of both worlds, there is partial offloading, where the DNN is split between device and cloud. However, since the final result comes from the remote side, Inference is still highly dependent on the dynamic network conditions, with performance dropping radically when the communication channel is degraded. In our work, we take on this paradigm and enhance it with early exit networks, which are networks that can exit early during inference on easier examples. Apart from the obvious latency gains, this paradigm offers the benefit of being able to support devices of different capabilities with only one architecture in a train-once, deploy-everywhere manner, as well as having at least one local actionable result in the case of remote unavailability. Alongside, we propose a dynamic scheduler that jointly tunes the partition point and early exit policies of the progressive model, yielding a deployment tailored to the application performance requirements, even under dynamic conditions. But what are these early exit networks? Take a vanilla DNN architecture like this on the slide. We introduce early exits, uh, early classifiers, along its depth at a configurable number and positions. The insight behind this scheme is that not all examples are equally difficult to classify. Differently put and treating the DNN as a feature extractor, Early extracted features may be enough to classify easier samples. For instance, an easier input sample might exit the classifier which is confident enough about its prediction, without needing to forward propagate until the end of the DNN. For this reason, we compare the max probability of each classifier's softmax with a confidence threshold to decide on whether to exit or not. On the other hand, the classifier that is confident enough about a more complex image might be deeper in the architecture. The offloading research community is quite crowded. As phones have become smarter and omnipresent in our lives, DNNs play a central role and supporting inference on devices of critical importance. This table depicts related work in the field of ML inference offloading. Contrary to prior work on generic computational offloading, these systems take advantage of the unique computational footprint and opportunities that DNN inference workload offers. Among these, others support single-objective schedulers without deadline awareness, while others only support static scheduling, which is incompatible with the inherent volatile environment of smartphones and mobile agents. SPIN is the only system that combines an SLA-aware dynamic scheduler that adapts to different environment conditions, supports compression of the dependency to be transferred and through its early exit mechanism, offers significant latency gains, as well as robustness in operation even under remote and point unavailability. Thus, SPIN can act as an enabler for real-time and latency-critical applications for various tasks, ranging from background detection in conference calls on user smartphones, to vision tasks on robots and drones. Moreover, it can offer robustness under spotty network connectivity, avoiding catastrophic deterioration of the quality of experience when the remote endpoint becomes unavailable. 
Additionally, SPIN can support a heterogeneous ecosystem of devices with one adaptive network architecture. Last, it can lead to significant cloud cost benefits by minimizing cloud usage or enabling the usage of ephemeral spare cloud resources at a fraction of a price. Here, we depict the general architecture of our framework, namely SPIN, consist consisting of several offline and runtime components. Let's go through them. First, we have the Progressive Inference Model Generator, a component which takes a vanilla network then places early classifiers along its depth and trains the newly created network on a given dataset. For our evaluation, we train the whole network end-to-end -end and weigh its classifier output proportionally to its flops in the cost function. We place six early exits equidistantly, as proposed in the SDN ICML paper. With this scheme, we are able to obtain a setup that supports a wide range of latency budgets while being portable across devices. However, in the case that the given network comes pre-trained, we can train only the classifiers attached to the frozen backbone of the original network. Next, we describe the model splitter and communication optimizer, both of which aim for an optimized offloading channel between device and remote end. The model splitter takes the previously created early exit model and identifies potential split points along its architecture. Our insights were that ARELU activations offer in fact great candidates for packing as they are low bound by zero and allow for better compressibility. Moreover, we limit our search to a single partition point to avoid dependencies round trips. Essentially, the packing and transfers costs are overheads to the inference computation paid to only be compensated by the faster runtime of the remote end. Once offloaded, it rarely makes sense to return to the control back to the slower device and pay again the transmission cost. These partition points become relevant during offloading. There, SPIN's communication optimizer packs the activations and dependencies to be, to be transferred in a three-stage manner by first linearly quantizing the activations with lossy 8-bit compression and then compressing the output losslessly with LZ4 after employing bit shuffling. I should note at this point that our packing scheme differs from weights or weights and activations after quantization, in the sense that we're only quantizing the dependencies for transmission, and thus we keep the impact on accuracy minimal, meaning less than one percentage point of degradation. Subsequently, the profiler of spin is able is responsible for aggregating the, data to, uh, the, aggregating the data according to which the scheduler makes its decisions. SPIN's profiler has an off offline and online component. The former takes both device-independent metrics, such as accuracy per confidence threshold or the size of the data to be transmitted, for different split points, as well as device-dependent information, such as the on-device latency per layer measured over a calibration set. This information serves as initial estimates later to be refined at runtime by monitoring the execution context. SPIN's scheduler subsequently takes this information and first removes the infeasible points according to, to the user SL defined SLAs, which are the hard constraints of the scheduler, and second, it, it, it ranks and selects uh, it ranks the, the solutions based on the user-defined ordering, these are the soft targets of the scheduler, and selects the best performing design in a multi-objective manner. Upon deployment, the scheduler is run on the client side, since most relevant information resides on device, and is only invoked when the outputs of the profiler are significantly changed. But what happens during execution? Take this ResNet block as an example. First, the input sample is going through the main backbone of the network. When it encounters an early classifier, it goes through it while the rest of the computation continues. When the partition point between device and cloud is met, the client prepares the dependencies to transmit by employing our communication optimizer. It quantizes and compresses the activations before sending them to the remote end. Next, the server does the inverse, injects the dependencies and continues the, infer the inference, going through the backbone and early exits as usual, potentially until the end of the uh, network is reached. However, if for example an early exit is confident enough about the result, measured through the soft max probability as aforementioned, 
it can stop the rest of the computation and communication, if need be, with a respective latency and resource usage gains. Throughout the execution, we dynamically hook into the uh, graph operations of the CNN and intercept tensors. Therefore, SPIN does not require changes in the underlying framework libraries. During runtime, the whole inference pipeline is coordinated by SPIN's scheduler, which takes into account the execution context, for example, network or computational load of the participating devices, as well as user-defined criteria, such as latency and accuracy SLAs, and decides on two policies. The first one, is the early exit policy, which is the confidence threshold that we compare against to stop the inference early. This affects the distribution of samples exiting early based on how easily they can be classified, as well as the end accuracy over the validation set. The left graph depicts the CDF of samples exiting by a specific classifier for different confidence thresholds, while the right graph shows the overall accuracy achieved by the early exit network for different confidence thresholds. The second policy that the scheduler decides on is picking the partition point of the DNN, which divides the computation between device and cloud. This graph depicts, depicts the inference latency breakdown for different split points on a vanilla non-progressive resident model over two different networks, namely 4G and 5G, and different energy profiles of the device. As it can be seen, dynamic conditions such as the connectivity and the device compute capabilities play an important role in shaping the split point latency dynamics and highlights the need for a policy that adapts to the dynamic execution conditions. Next, I will present the results of our evaluation measured across different deep neural networks and datasets on NVIDIA Jetson Xavier over three different profiles, energy profiles. Specifically, we're adjusting the TDP and clock frequency of the CPU and GPU cores of the device to emulate end devices of different capabilities. We implement SPIN in PyTorch and evaluate it, during, uh, and evaluate it using ResNet, VDG, MobileNet version 2 and Inception version 3 uh, models on C4100 and ImageNet. As baselines, we employ the seminal neurosurgeon paper, which provides a single objective dynamic of loading without early exit, without early exit solution. And Agent, which is a system that uses multi-exit architectures, but only for subgraph selection, not for early exiting. Moreover, we use ablated, ablated variants of SPIN, such as SPIN without the early exiting mechanism, as well as device and server-only execution. First, we evaluate the throughput of our system under varying conditions, mm -hmm. such as the available network bandwidth and server load, as well as under user-defined SLAs. The first two experiments plot the inference throughput as a function of, of the varying network bandwidth and server load for different DNNs and energy profiles, while the last experiment shows the server time and achieved accuracy for varying SLAs. Please note that the SLA is shown as a percentage of the on-device inference latency. The key takeaways are that SPIN is able to consistently beat the baselines, even under tough latency deadlines, and adapt its policies to varying contextual factors without sacrificing accuracy. Simultaneously, it manages to save on server computation, as easier examples do not need to propagate to the full extent of the network. In comparison, neurosurgeons' lack of an accuracy latency trade-off mechanism and agents' server-initiated inference nature as well as the unnormalized cost function it uses, lead to suboptimal performance. Next, we evaluated the robustness of our system to remote and disconnections. Specifically, we analyzed two setups, one failing the input sample inference upon remote disconnection, while the other is attempting to retransmit on failure with exponential backoff. Hence, remote unavailability in the first case results in accuracy degradation, while in the second, it translates to increased latency due to retransmission. For our experiments, we conduct inference on the validation set of C4100 and ImageNet over three different networks and sample from a distribution of varying failure probability. Different lines in the progressive variant represent different split points and thus different number of local to the device results, while the baseline represents a non-progressive variant of the network. 
Over two scenarios and different probabilities, spin is able to achieve higher accuracy or lower latency over the non-progressive offloading baseline, since it always has one or more local results to fall back on. Last, we measured the overheads of our system in terms of the scheduler invocation and the energy consumption on the user's device. To assess the responsiveness, to the responsiveness of SPIN's scheduler to adapting to dynamic network conditions, we target a real bandwidth from a Belgian ISP over different human activities. The system can adapt to varying conditions depicted by the similar trajectory of the first and last plots of the leftmost graph with minimal only overhead, since it does not have to be continuously invoked. At the same time, the middle plot illustrates the different scheduler choices over the user bandwidth trace in terms of uh, split point and uh, um, early exit policy. Simultaneously, the energy consumed during inference is on par with device-only execution without early exits, even without explicitly optimizing for it. The rightmost graph depicts the energy consumed per inference in, mini in millijoules, going from full on-device towards full remote execution. From the first two bars, we can quantify the energy benefit of early exits. The next three bars illustrate a five times difference between good and bad on-purpose scheduler configurations due to an early, exit, an early split point that leads to high data volumes to be transferred and a high confidence threshold leading to lower early exit rates. Last, in the full offloading scenario, we can easily witness that the energy cost is dominated by the transfer. But how does SPIN fit in the current way of embedded ML deployment? Nowadays, the range of devices being out there is quite diverse, ranging from the flagships to low-end and previous generation devices. Supporting real-time inference across the range is tough and might require optimized deployments such as lower precision networks to be deployed on the lower end. However, further refinement steps may be needed to recover the lost accuracy. At the same time, early exit networks and progressive inference gain and progressive inference gain traction in research and production. SPIN is able to offer a methodology to customize DNN inference across different targets without the need to retrain, while it maintains its orthogonality to DNN compression techniques for client-side execution. In summary, we have presented SPIN, a distributed system that enables robust CNN inference in highly dynamic environments while meeting multi-objective application level requirements. This is accomplished through a novel scheduler that takes advantage of progressive inference. The scheduler optimizes the overall execution by jointly, optimizing, by jointly tuning both the split point selection and the early exit policy at runtime to sustain high performance and meet the application SLAs even under dynamic resource fluctuation. The guarantee of a local early exit uh, renders server availability non-critical and enables robust operation even under uncertain connectivity situations. These traits enable SPIN to deliver higher performance than state-of-the-art works without sacrificing the system's accuracy or availability. Thank you for your attention.